Hello and welcome to a statue review of the Popper Parade Ranmitake from Band Dream Girls Band Party. So today we've got another pop up parade. Uh, this is my third now, I want to say. Um, quite excited for it, to be honest. So we'll have a quick look at the packaging as we always do, and then I'll actually get into opening her up. So as you can see there, that is Ranmi Take, uh, lead singer of Afterglow from Bang Dream Girls Band Party, which is a uh, mobile game and anime. I think the mobile game came first, though, and that's where I've spent most time with. I have seen season one of the anime, though, as well, which is very nice. So, as with a lot of pop-up parade stuff, the packaging's, like, fairly basic, to be honest. It's kind of in keeping with her colour scheme, black and red. Um, but, you know, there, there's not much to go on about. And uh, it's got the pop-up parade uh, kind of logo at the back there. Um, yeah, and that's about it, to be honest. So there's no point looking at it through the packaging. Let's look at her inside the packaging after I take her out of the packaging. Anyway, BRB after this really professional feed. Alright, I am back and I've unboxed her from her box. Now, as I've noticed a few times, so sometimes these boxes kind of have references to the characters in them. So obviously this one has the colour palette, sort of, the red bits in her hair and mostly black. I don't know if that's intentional, because um, I'm pretty sure the other two I have uh, have very similar backgrounds. However, at the bottom there, there is a small um, thunderbolt. Now, not this costume, but her on-stage costume does have that red thunderbolt in the middle, so I think maybe that's kind of a reference to Ran. I don't fully know, though. I could be wrong. That might be on all of them. Uh, however, I have pulled her out and assembled her, so you'll all be pleased to know she's very easy to assemble. Three prongs, one foot has two connectors, one has one, so you can't even mess that up, really. Uh, so, as is traditional, we're going to go look at the statue in detail now, and then I'll take some pictures and we'll look, you know, at, at that as well, and then we'll do a wrap-up. So, um, the base is red, as you'd imagine, it's kind of fitting for her. Um, I've only ever seen red bases on Papa Parade, actually. I assume they do other colour bases, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, let's begin by focusing on Ran shoes. Um, and I don't think I've ever said this about a statue before, but holy crap, they got the shoes incredibly well. Um, so obviously these are kind of leathery kind of boots that she's wearing um, and quite frankly they, they got that perfectly. These reflect light just like leather would um, and they do have, they have a little bit of a finish as well. Obviously it doesn't feel like leather because that would be insane for a statue to do but you know she's got, she's got her cool paws as well that one of her feet is up. Uh, also, this this specific look is based on her one-star card from the Band Dream mobile game. It's the card you basically start out with. I think if you watch a few episodes of the Afterglow story, they give you this card so you can technically play as Ran, even if you've never pulled her in any of the gachas or ever. Um, and I think all of the Popper Parade Band, Band Dream girls are their one-star card versions. Uh, this is the only one I have so far, but I'm pretty certain. Anyway, I'm going to move this from the background, actually, just in case it takes any focus. So, we move on up. She's got her kind of tights. Um, and yet again, they have painted this incredibly well. You can kind of tell they're tights, I guess, by... You can kind of see skin tone, but it's mostly black or whatever. And then we move up to her jean shorts. So, they are covered quite a lot by her jumper. But uh, we've got like the frilly cut off part there. We've got the behind with the pockets. Honestly, the pockets are really like detailed and stuff as well. I'm not going to make any more comments because she is canonically 15. Uh, so moving on up, we have the belt. Now the belt actually moves, which is pretty cool. Um, it doesn't move like a whole lot. I guess if you really forced it, you could spin it around. I don't know why you'd want to do that. That would look stupid. It's meant to be at like a jaunty angle. I think that's kind of how it's meant to be. But I mean, you can technically have it a few other ways. I think in the packaging, it was actually over the leather jacket a little bit, which is a bit weird. But you know, you just move her a bit. It's got the little studs on it and they reflect really well. Honestly, 
in keeping with Papa Parade, uh, as they've done in the last two um, statues I've looked at, like, the the amount of, like, detail in the paint apps and stuff is phenomenal for the price. Like, it really blows a lot of other things. Well, I wouldn't say out of the water, but this competes with, like, I'd say slightly, you know, more expensive statues even. Uh, so, below the belt, we have her, like, under jumper, I guess. Uh, as you can see, it kind of splits a little bit on both sides there. And this has a bit of a texture as well. It does look like a slightly, I don't know if it's a woolly, but you know, one of those kind of thin-ish jumpers, but they keep you warm. Uh, there's not much more to say about that. And then, of course, we have the leather jacket. And much like the boots, god damn, that's a cool reflection. Uh, yet again as well, this has a bit of a finish as well that you can feel. Like, this definitely feels different to, like, all the other parts. Uh, it's because the paint is glossy, obviously, but still, it's like, it's very impressive. Um, I know, it, it's a cool looking leather jacket as well. It's why Ran is my favourite Bang Dream. Well, she's my favourite Bang Dream leader girl, um, like frontman woman girl. Uh, my favourite of all of them is Otai from, uh, from Poppin' Party, but they haven't made a pop-up of her yet. They've made a few others, but I don't know how they scale with pop-ups, so I might just wait, to be honest. Uh, we've got her hands. Her hands are very well modelled. Um, I think this is the first pop-up I have where the hands are just part of the moulding, like they're not free standing or whatever, so they can, they can make them a bit more detailed and a bit more dainty, if that makes sense, because, you know, these just look like hands and you're never going to move them. You can't even see the base of her hands there. Oh, actually, oh! Hey, there we go, you can see the fingers peeking out from under her arm there. And then we move up to the face. The face is very, very nice. Um, you know, I mean, you could argue that maybe there could be a little bit more detailing, but again, for the price range, this is phenomenal. And she's got her famous red streak in her hair there. And honestly, the hair as well, I'm very impressed with, because it is, it's a bit layered, if that makes sense. Like, especially this side here. You can really, you can really get a feel for the strands of hair, if that makes sense. And I hope they're coming out on camera really well, because like, you you can feel that they're not all uniform, which is lovely. They they are layered. Uh, it does kind of flow like hair, and I like that her head's tilted a little bit, so some hairs flow in more that side, and it's more sticking to her head that side. It's um. Yeah, it's just, it's overall a really, really well detailed statue. So, as is traditional now, I'm going to jump over to some, like, photos and a photo montage of, like, different angles or whatever, just to kind of show you guys details. Um, details in detail. That, that's a, that's a moot phrase. Uh, right, roll the music. Alright, I'm back. So I hope you guys enjoyed those photos. They were kind of different angles, showing off the paint apps and stuff. They, they were a little bit samey, I do apologise. But that is ultimately kind of the downside of this statue. Um, if, I, if I really had to like criticise it, it is very simple. It is very basic. Um, but I mean, it's not necessarily really a criticism even because I saw what it looked like uh, when it when it was announced, uh, and I, I pre-ordered it anyway. Why? Because Ran is best girl, or second best girl, as I explained earlier. But honestly, I'm I'm really impressed with this. Um, this is definitely the most basic statue I think I've ever bought. There's it's not a ton of posing or ever. It's very really, like slim in profile. There's the, there's no real customization or anything. Obviously, not you know most statues don't have that either. But I am very impressed, to be honest. The, the like, the different paint apps. I know I keep going on about it, but honestly, I'm really impressed by how different the leather, like they made it look to the rest of, the rest of her outfit, really. Um, and Ran is very cute. 
Honestly, there's not a ton more to say, unfortunately. This is... What you see is exactly what you get. There's, um, I mean, the good thing is, that also means there's no weird parts. There's no trying to, like, clip accessories in or make things stay on or kind of worry that, ooh, will the integrity hold for, you know, a long time? Because, you know, th th this is going to this is gonna last, this is going to stay upright for as many years as you own her. Um, yeah, and honestly... This has made me consider maybe getting the Kasumi from Poppin Party uh, statue. Uh, the others, I'm not... Well, actually, uh, no, they did announce um, the uh, Yukina from Roselia. I, I'm, not, I'm not crazy on her one-star outfit. To be honest, that's the other like downside of these pop-up parade things. When they start making them in their signature outfits, like... If they make a stage outfit ran, which is, you know, with the uh, black t-shirt and stuff like that, I might legitimately buy that as well. I may actually buy two different ran statues because I really like that outfit. Now, I know I think Sega have made a few ran stage outfit versions, but to be honest, Papa Parade is like so good that I, I may just hold out hope for that. Because, uh, same if they made a Yukina in her, like, gothic stage outfit, absolutely 100%, no doubt I would buy that. Same as Kokoro, actually. Uh, her, her, you know, stage outfit is just so weird and stuff. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of pastel palettes, but, uh, I mean, if I bought the other four, I guess I'd maybe buy, um, but I can't remember her name, the lead singer from pastel palettes, but I'd maybe buy that. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, I'll close it out here. It's been a kind of short one, but um, straight, simple, and to the point, which is kind of like Ran herself, because um, you know she, she's 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 very reserved and works in a flower shop. That's there we are. That's about it <laughs> for all of the facts. Well, there, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I shall be doing other pop-up parade things in the future. I've got quite a few different pre-orders. Nothing Bang Dream related as of yet, but you never know what the future holds. Um, but I will leave a playlist of my other statue reviews over there. And I'll also leave the uh, link to like a mystery video of mine, uh, the YouTube decides down here. And um, yeah, I'll leave you guys go. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you've bought this or any of the other Bang Dream pop-up parade statues. Are they worth getting? Hopefully the paint apps are as cool as this one are. Uh, right, well, take care and until next time... Goodbye.